When Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta came to Uganda, it was about a two-day state visit for a new president, and there would of course be discussions with his host, President Museveni. But then President Kagame of Rwanda joined Presidents Uhuru and Museveni. After nine hours of waiting by the media, it emerged that this meeting was about big plans. In the communique they issued, the three countries will jointly work on a standard gauge lorry from Kenya into Uganda to Rwanda. They will also develop two oil pipelines. The first, extending the Mombasa Eldoret fuel line to Kampala and then Kigali. And the second pipeline, carrying crude oil from Uganda to Lamu in Kenya through southern Sudan. The three countries also agreed to mobilize resources for constructing of an oil refinery in Uganda, plus working on power generation and distribution, especially in renewable energy sources. They also agreed to speed up formation of a common customs territory in East Africa, work to establish a single East African identity card and transit visa, and finally fast track the creation of the East African Political Federation. To reduce doubt as to the execution of these plans, countries were assigned roles. The Republic of Uganda would spearhead the issues of, ref of railway development <coughs> excuse me, and political federation. And I think we also agreed the uh, oil refinery. The Republic of Kenya will spearhead issues of electricity generation and distribution and oil pipelines development. The Republic of Rwanda will spearhead the issues of customs, territory as I talked about, the single tourism visa, and the EAC identity card. But the media kept asking where the other East African countries were, because this was a threesome, and not a part of five as expected. Was this a new way of doing things, where Tanzania has for instance been slow at agreements at times? No, this is not a new way, because remember, we are talking about the railway, and we are talking about this northern, I think they call it the northern corridor, yes. okay. uh, <coughs> the northern corridor, so from Mombasa uh, through Uganda to Rwanda, so that was the core of our discussion, uh, and because of that, we, we also discussed other things, but uh, we shall brief other, 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 the other leaders. Clearly, the three East African countries are not waiting for everybody to get on board. In power, oil and transport infrastructure, they propose to move. Now as to whether they will move, we are watching time. Samo Setumba, NTV, at State House, Entebbe.